guys welcome to the video number 324 and uh, my name is Ajay uh, I'm going to today educate you about uh, that if you ever uh, you know wondering that how to work with the text file using the Excel VBA then this video is for you going to actually uh, know a couple of very important commands uh, which can help you in connecting with the text files right so with, this is the video number 324 and if you're watching the channel for the first time we have these all 324 videos on the Excel, Excel VBA and Access and Access VBA. A video which I'm going to upload right away, I'm recording, I will upload here under the category Excel VBA file handling so you can watch out all these videos as well. I never talked about the text files. These are all the videos. We particularly specifically targeted the folders and under the, under the folders, you know, we targeted uh, most of the times it is Excel. But what if you want to create a text file? What if you want to open a text file? I never talked about that and this because I, uh, some of you have requested me. They have given me some comments that uh, they are looking forward to, you know, kind of the uh, the text file, how to control the text file using the Excel VBA. So I have just actually started this and we are majorly this video going to cover these four uh, important points. The first one is how to create a text file and then the second is how to copy and the move the text file. The third one is how to open a text file and read it. The fourth one is how to search a particular text in your text file. Okay, so let's go to the Visual Basic and let's try to make the code. The first thing which you need to make in this is go to the tools and the reference and please ensure that you should have a library uh, check marked which is the Microsoft scripting runtime. So I'm just quickly going to press M and uh, we will go to the Microsoft scripting S and there we go. Now this is the library guys which you need to uh, first activate it. If you will not do that you will not be able to use it. Right. So I activated it and I want to check back so I click on the tool and the reference and this is what exactly it is. Microsoft script runtime it's coming perfect. Now first of all we will uh, learn that how to create a text file. Okay so it is very simple. Uh, creating text file create text file let's say this is the name i'm going to give you now the text file which i'm going to create is on my d drive okay which is you can see here right now on my d drive there is nothing basically it's totally empty there is no text file created here so this is how you we will create first of all you declare any of your object so as i'm going to declare it at as scripting and then file system object okay file system object is done and now the next thing which I will do is I'm going to create it this FSO equals to scripting and dot and system object some people don't use the library scripting this class that's fine you can also write FSO as file system object that's not going to create any problem right now this is very much important because using this now library I can create the text file so the next line which you need to do is FSO dot create text file Create text file is a method because you can see this yellow sign and this is a kind of a tilted rectangular box. This is a method. Method means that when you run this line, there will be some action which will happen. So create text file and what you want to create. So I'm simply going to write here in my D drive uh, a file with the name called let's say a.txt. Okay. Don't forget to write the extension of the file. So I can write it in the maybe small letters that's it the moment you run this line see what will happen code ran and i want to do the d drive and i want to show you that text file is created right what if you want to copy this and move it uh, copy it and paste it on the um you know, the desktop so again you will use the fso then to uh, what you need to do is now you need to write here copy file now in the copy file source as a string so that would come from the d drive which means that your original actually destination uh, original your uh, the file path so you will write here dot txt and then the comma where exactly you want to put it where exactly you want to move it so I'm going to write in that in the d drive in the in my uh, actually on my desktop so i just pick it up Apart from here, click on any of the file, go to the property, right click and property and the security because in the security you have this object name including the path and the file name. So I always use this. Some people prefer using, you know, uh, these uh, basically like, you know, this is the folder path you can see here and then you can type in here. And some people also go ahead and with this file path, file name from here or maybe the location from here, right? And then they uh, 
skip the other things manually. So for example, you can copy the path from here and then you can write the text, uh, file name right, manually. There's no need for that because in the security, you will get everything. So it's a complete path with the file name. So I just copy this and uh, I'm going to paste it here. There we go. Right. So if I now run this line, I want to show you that file must have been copied. So let's go ahead and uh, to my mistake, actually, guys, I'm so sorry. Uh, basically, this is not acer.txt. Um, I'm going to keep it same name a.txt. You can put some different name as well. So I just run this and there we go. Okay, let's have a look. Where is a.txt? As you can see in the front of you, this is the a.txt, which is, of course, empty file. So we have got this a.txt. Let me delete that. And uh, now what if you want to move the file from the e drive because right now you you get to see here file right it was copied actually it wasn't cut and paste so if you want to cut and paste if you want to move it then you just need to use this move file that's it and the rest of the code will remain same so I just copy the code and I'm gonna paste it here there we go okay now I'm going to run this line. So before I run this line, I just want to comment the copy file. I simply want to move it. So right now, if I show you, I have this file on my D drive. Okay, so there we go. Moment I am through with this code, I go back and I don't see any text file created here. Right? It actually moved. Right? So let's go ahead and check out that on the desktop. So this is the file. I think the name was the a.txt. Let me have a look again just forgot yeah a.txt so you see that it's moved it's all up to you how you want to actually do the things I want to tell you one more important thing which is more of a practical thing uh, if I open any file for example the information info.txt uh, how to open this text file and how to read this text file in the VBA this is what we are going to learn today right so that is what we are going to do I just comment everything out here because you are going to work with the existing file. So when you're going to work with the existing file, you have to refer that. So this is the line which I'm going to refer my file. You can declare whatever you want. And then in the script library is a text uh, stream object you need to write. Right? Now, this is important for you. And now what is your set? What is your actual file name which you're going to work with? So you write here set my file equals to fso dot open text file and then you write the name of that text file right so i'm going to copy this c drive that's my text file actually part of my text file right as you know so in the quotes i just simply write it like this and of course the file name has to change to info.txt once the file is opened in the VBA memory, you will not be able to see that. What you want to do, you want to run the line until you are on the last line. Till the time your loop is not going to reach to the last line. Till that point in time, we want to run the loop. So this is how we write. And then while not in my file at end of line. Okay. This ensures that your loop is going to work until you are on the last line okay if i just write here message box message box and i want to see my file so i write here read all the moment you do that and you know when you're gonna run this code here we go you get to see all the content perfect right i guess you have used the read all so that's why it actually read everything for you right but generally we like to actually uh, use not the read all but the another syntax which is the read line because what if you want to check on you know one by one every line for example then what you will do if I just write here read line now if I if I run this so you see that the moment I'm gonna run this first line this is the number uh, an, another line then this is 5894 and then another line which is ABC and let me be quick Ajay and then GD then that's it guys right automatically the loop stop because after hgd there is nothing so that was the end of the line okay. now this also is going to help you a lot just in case you're looking for some particular item searching for some item in the text file and you want to stop there so i can if i'm looking for let's say i want to search 
that my text file contains Ajay or not. So in that case, you can write here if your my file dot um, or basically what you need to do, you need to convert this uh, convert this message box into a variable. So you write here var equals to my file dot read line and declare your var as string if it is a string. So I can write here that if var equals to Ajay what should happen then I should get the message box which is that uh, item is item exist in the file okay and then after it exists I don't want to go for the next search because my job is done now what if you have 10,000 lines in your text file and somewhere on the fifth line you have that item or maybe somewhere on the 500 line you have that item which you are trying to search so why to unnecessarily you know keep on running the code if you get that on the 500 line that that means the code code should immediately stop there's no need to go to the further you know those 15,000 lines or 10,000 lines whatever I mean it is so we can exit from the macro exit sir right? so to exit from the macro the macro will stop and in just in case if it is if, if it is not able to find then obviously go to the else and end it okay and finally after the loop you can write here that nothing found because now after the loop the code would come only when it not go in this then part because if it go, you know it, if it will go in the then part then definitely the macro will stop because exit sir will exit the macro so after the loop if you are if your vba is going to um, execute this line message box that means the item actually you know a vba uh, was not able to find your item so you can write here is message box nothing thing uh, uh, thing found let's say this is how you can write the code you know that in my text file i have already got this ajay so it should work right so what i'm gonna do is uh, i'm gonna run this in there we go now bar holds my first number obviously which is not equals to ajay so it goes in the this mode and now again i'm gonna run this is the next thing the next thing is 5894 5894 of course it is also not equal to a day so again it goes in the else now this way it keeps on continue you know it, it keeps on doing like this uh, and now we got the a day so finally have your message box item exists in the file and then the macro should stop macro exit if you if i just try to um maybe change this value let's say i'm going to write here a day hh and now if i save the file you would see that the moment the Excel VBA will run, it will never go in this then part. So end if else, again else, again else, again else, and there we go, nothing found. So in this way, you can actually check your contents as well. Right? So this is all about how to deal with the text files, guys. And uh, in the uh, future I'm going to upload some more of a practical videos I wanted to keep it very basic because first you should have a good understanding you know that how what are the important commands and what is exactly this uh, scripting dot file system object library we have seen this library if you're following the channel for the first uh, I mean if you're already following the channel then you might have seen it I've used this a lot I was showing you also you know over here but, uh, Text file is something which is a new topic to all of us. I never actually discussed the text files uh, in this way that how to create, how to open, how to control the text file. So first I wanted to give you good clarity on this. If now once you are through with this, going forward we will talk about some of the typical things. For example, if you have a lot of text files, right now you learned how to move and copy the one text file. What if you have 100 text files? Maybe out of those 100 text files, you are looking for some particular file, whether that exists in, under that folder or not. So you can do, you know, all that kind of a stuff using the loops. And I'm, I'm going to talk about that in the coming uh, videos. So thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, don't wait. Just be a part of this awesome learning. I have got 324, 25 videos for you, as you know, and all are the combinations of, you know, different, different, basically the basic videos, the intermediate level videos, and of course the advanced videos. We have got everything for you. So thank you so much. And I will be back very soon. Till then you stay happy and have a fantastic learning. Thank you so much, guys. Bye-bye.